Mobile gaming is something many do on the go, seeing that we all carry our Android phones with us everywhere. But many of the best mobile games actually require an internet connection, some that are even single player, and the Play Store does not offer this info, which means it's anyone's guess if an Android game can be played without a data signal. So we has done the hard work for you, testing the many awesome games we come across in our coverage to find the cream of the crop that can indeed be played without an internet connection on your favorite gaming phone. So if you're on the hunt for the best Android games that can be played without an internet connection, you've come to the right place. Final Fantasy VI Why not start off with a bang? The sixth entry in the Final Fantasy series is often regarded as one of the best JRPGs ever made, and while Square Enix may not have the best reputation when it comes to its Android releases, thanks to years of allowing many games to languish without updates, the new releases for the original six games are actually quality ports. While missing controller support is a giant bummer, the touch controls work well, and the turn-based RPG gameplay is just as great as you remember, with clean sprite work for the graphics that look great in HD. Dead Cells Dead Cells is one of the best roguelike platformers available on the Play Store. The Android port is fantastic. You can select from 30 FPS, 60 FPS, and unlimited FPS in the game's settings, and there's also an HD graphics option for everyone with a beefy device. We've spent a lot of time playing this roguelike on Android and can confidently say the game runs like butter at max settings on high-end hardware. While this title demands precision controls, it's fully playable with the touchscreen as well as a physical controller. Dead Cells is the cream of the crop when it comes to platformers. If you've yet to play, don't miss out because this is a game you can play anywhere. Super Meat Boy Sure, auto runners are a dime a dozen on the Play Store, and yet somehow Super Meat Boy manages to trounce them all with an incredibly addictive game that's just as tough as the title that preceded forever. Tough as nails is putting it nicely, but this is what ensures so much fun, not to mention a sense of pride when beating a level. You'll have to earn your advancement in the game, which is broken up into short stages, but thankfully the touch controls are on point. Making for a game that is not only fun to play but feels great while doing so. My friend Pedro, ripe for revenge. My friend Pedro first made waves on the PC and Nintendo Switch, where you utilize a slick slowdown mechanic to take down your enemies. Seeing that the console PC game was based on a popular Flash game, it makes sense that the game would come to mobile. Thanks to simple controls, we didn't get a direct port of the console game. But we did get a mobile offshoot that plays on a 2D plane and it's just as great. Plus, it can be played offline, which makes it a perfect title for this roundup. Grand Mountain Adventure Winter sports games used to be highly popular back in the PS1 slash PS2 days. The genre has fallen by the wayside, with only Ubisoft carrying the AAA mantle. Since then, Topluva AB created one of the best winter sports games in recent memory. Even though it's a mobile game, it's jam-packed with content that can all be played offline. There's a total of seven open-world mountains to explore, adding up to more than 100 challenges spread across these maps. You can ski, you can snowboard, and controller support is included. There's even a free-play zen mode for those who want to hit the slopes. All around, it's a great game that shouldn't be missed, especially if you're a huge Cool Borders SSAX fan. Monument Valley An oldie but a goodie, Monument Valley is a slick puzzle game where you interact with each level, bending it to your will to ensure your character moves to their desired position to solve the puzzle. The graphics are slick, the controls are responsive, and the game is challenging. It's everything a game should be, and it's also perfect for mobile, thanks to its bite-sized gameplay. While there is a license check after installing the game, after connecting on your first boot up, you're good to play without an internet connection, which is precisely why Monument Valley is in today's roundup. It's a great game to play offline. If you haven't experienced this masterpiece, take it for a spin. Super Hexagon If you enjoy challenging arcade-style games, you're in luck. 
Super Hexagon fits that description perfectly, and it's been updated with high frame rate support along with controller support, so it's a standout release that's pretty old but still supported. Plus, the entire game can be played offline, making it a perfect title for commuters thanks to its bite-sized play. Stardew Valley Stardew Valley is a farming and life simulator, a niche genre with a dedicated fanbase. If you remember having fun with titles like Harvest Moon, this has similar but more wide-ranging gameplay. No spoilers, you can easily spend hundreds of hours playing with lots of replayability. This a fun game to play with touch controls on a phone, and you can really dig in on tablets and Chromebooks while out and about thanks to the included controller support and no requirement for an internet connection. Civilization 6 Asper Media finally brought its mobile port for Civilization 6 to Android in 2020. It came as a surprise but it was a welcome one. Civilization 6 is a demanding game, with a map full of units, territories, cities and AI players feeding a constantly growing simulation. That means performance can dip late game, especially when it comes to loading times. All around this is a solid port from Aspire Media, and it's an absolute blast to play on larger screens such as tablets. Best of all, since you don't need an internet connection to play, it's perfect for portable sessions. Castlevania Symphony of the Night Konami's classic Metroidvania title, Castlevania Symphony of the Night was released on the Play Store to everyone's surprise in 2020, and it's available for $2.99, which is a bargain. If you haven't played Sautien, it's a beautiful 2D platformer that offers non-linear gameplay, which encourages exploration. The primary campaign should take about 8 or 9 hours to finish, so it will take more than one sitting to work your way through this release. Since you can play offline, you won't have to worry about an internet connection once the game is installed. Grid Autosport Grid Autosport is a console-quality racer that landed on Android in 2019. The full game can be had for $10 and there are no IAPs or ads, which makes this a premium release. If you've yet to play this racer, it mixes many racing styles, from dirt tracks to city streets, and there are numerous cars to race. In comparison, most racers on Android are free to play, so they contain many questionable monetization systems and a requirement for a constant internet connection. If you've been searching for a premium mobile racer that won't break the bank, can be played offline anytime you want, and offers controller support out of the box, Grid Autosport is the best racer available on the Play Store that fits these requirements. Grim Valor. Reviews have remained positive following the game's original release on the Apple App Store in 2018, and the Android port looks and plays as well as it does on iOS. Controllers are supported out of the box, and there's no internet requirement once it's installed. Grim Valor plays well on tablets and phones alike. It's basically a perfect portable hack and slash game. Rush Rally Origins What's particularly nice is that controllers are supported, along with offline functionality. Better yet, the racer is monetized fairly, with enough content to keep any racing fan busy for a good long while. Rush Rally Origins is easily one of the best premium racing games on the platform, and it excels if you dig classic-style top-down racing games. Limbo You can play offline and controller support is included. This is an odd game with a slight horror theme, but that's part of the appeal, the off-the-wall nature of the story. And get this, there's no text and no voice work. The entire game tells its story through gameplay. If you've yet to play Limbo, or it's been a while, this one is worth a playthrough or multiple. It's an experience and then some. Battle Chasers Nightwear It looks excellent, the touch controls are worthwhile, and there are hours of turn-based gameplay to enjoy. If you're looking for a console-quality RPG experience on mobile that offers, at minimum, a 30-hour campaign that can be played in its entirety offline Battle Chasers, Nightwear is easily one of the best RPGs currently available on Android. This is a demanding game, so more recent high-end hardware is recommended. 
There's also no controller support, but the Touch UI works well on tablets and phones. Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc Anniversary Edition This is an engrossing game, and best of all since it's an anniversary edition, it offers all new graphics and touchscreen support, not to mention a few gallery extras for the hardcore fans, along with offline play. You can also find the sequel on the Play Store, should you want to continue your adventure after finishing Trigger Happy Havoc Anniversary Edition. Thumper Pocket Edition There are 9 levels that take about 7.5 hours to beat, and the game can be fully played offline. For the asking price there's a good bit of content included that should easily entertain for hours. Streets of Rage 4 This one is for all of you brawler fans. Streets of Rage 4 is a 20-year follow-up to the third game released in the 1990s, offering some of the best beat-em-up gameplay around, hands down. Since the game has made its way to Android, it's one of the platform's best releases thanks to enjoyable gameplay, not to mention a kicking soundtrack, controller support, and optional DLC that adds a new survival mode that makes the game endless. Mini Metro. A game described as a subway simulator, Mini Metro is more of a puzzle game where perfect planning is the key to success. You start with a few lines in a smallish town, and as that city grows, so will the subway lines. It's up to you to properly place and run them to ensure continued growth. The game is presented with minimal graphics that are appealing and easy to run, which means this is a fairly accessible game that should run on about any Android device. Plus, it works offline, perfect for playing on the subway, which is about as meta as it gets. Ninth Dawn 3 RPG Ninth Dawn 3 is the culmination of the last two titles in this action RPG series, and it offers a boatload of polish, not to mention tons of loot to collect as you explore the game's vast open world. Think 2D Skyrim, and you're getting close. As our roundup of the best offline Android games grows with each update, we hope everyone has been able to find a game or two to whittle away the hours while offline. Whether you're into casual games like Stardew Valley, or prefer the deep RPG gameplay of a title like Ninth Dawn 3, you're absolutely covered, especially if you have an Android controller to bring along for the ride. So, until the next update that brings even more games to the list, enjoy! and have fun gaming away from the constant nagging of an internet connection.